In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to transform your videos from this to this. In a few simple steps using Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to achieve that cinematic look everybody likes. So be sure to stick to the end of the video because I'm also gonna be sharing a few goodies to help you get started with your color grading. So first of all, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer and drag it to our timeline. So in this first step, we are gonna be doing some basic color correction that is contrast, highlights and shadows. So once, once we have created the adjustment layer, we're going to jump straight to Lumetri color and tweak the contrast a little bit to the higher sides. So we're going to be adding contrast to the video. And then we're going to add highlights. And we're going to go negative on the shadows. So after that, we're going to jump straight to the creative panel. So it's basically just some basic correction where we're going to be adding vibrance and saturation. So after that, we're going to go straight to curves, where we're going to be playing with the RGB curves and hue versus saturation. So once you're pleased with the curve or with the video, after playing with the curve, trying to create the airship, we're going to jump straight to hue versus saturation. And at this point, you can decide to use the qualifier tool or just input the colors manually by creating points, specific points to the colors you want to add. Or make them pop on your video so in this particular video i'm going straight for the yellows and maybe the reds and the greens maybe
So the next step we're gonna be going to color wheels and match. So we're gonna be tweaking the wheels, the color wheels to achieve that cinematic color on our video. So I'm gonna start with the mid-tones. Just tweak them a little bit. And then we're gonna go to the shadows and then the highlights. So after that we're gonna create a new adjustment layer and drag it to our timeline. So in this step we're gonna be dealing with the creative panel on the Lumetri color and I'm gonna go through some of the looks that come pre-installed in Adobe Premiere Pro in which I'm gonna select one that matches quite well with the already basic correction that you have done and I'm gonna use it. I think I like this so then I'm gonna adjust the vibrance again and the saturation just to match the look that I'm going for 
with this specific footage. After that, I'm going to go to the first adjustment layer that we did and come and click on effects control and lower its opacity a little bit just to match the look that we have added recently so that it, like just to achieve that specific look that I want here. Yeah? You don't have to do this, but for this specific video that i'm working with i have to reduce like the first adjustment layer that we did so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned something from it